Hi guys, so I've just got back from work and I wanted to film a quick haul for you. This is a couple of shopping trips worth of stuff. I have been to the NYX counter in Boots and I have also been to Primark. The eyeshadows that I'm wearing on my eyes today are from the Morphe 35O palette. If you would like to see a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing, um, please give this video a thumbs up, then I'll film the tutorial for you. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? So the first things I'm going to show you are what I'm wearing right now. I got this bow from Primark, um, it's actually on a headband, and this one was £2. I got this pretty much to wear to work and to wear on my videos because I thought it was quite cute. And I can't find one of those headbands with the little, you know, the little metal cat ears. I really want one, but I can't find one. Whenever I have found one, it's always been broken. Um, so I got this one instead because I thought that was quite cute, right? The next thing I got was this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. If I just show you. Um, so it's a crop white t-shirt. Um, it's made of ribbed stretch material, but I got it because it's got these cute little badges on it. It's got an ice lolly, a pair of lips, and a cherry. I just thought it was really cute, and it reminds me of when I was a kid. So that leads me on to the next thing that I bought. Very similar. This one's just the stripey version of the same t-shirt. I bought this one in a bigger size because they didn't have my size. However, surprisingly, even though it's two sizes too big, it actually fits more closely than this one does. Um, but I think that's because of the material. But this one has, if I just show you, this one has a heart, a cactus, and a peace sign. I liked this one because it had the stripey design, and I also have a bit of a thing for cactuses at the moment. <laughs> Um, but both of these t-shirts were £3 each and they were in the sale at my Primark. So when I went to Primark, I had a big obsession with stripes. So the next t-shirt that I got is just your basic um, long sleeved t-shirt. But it's got a slightly different bottom. I don't know if you can see that. But the front of it is shorter than the back of it. So it's got this little split on the side. Um, I really liked the stripes. The weather's a little bit colder at the moment so I thought this was good for the weather at the moment and also for in winter underneath other things like dresses. I do that quite often. And this one was also £3. Um, surprisingly all the things that I picked up were in the sale or below £3. Um, I thought that was a pretty good, pretty good shopping trip to be honest. Because I was early for work this morning, I thought I'd go back into Primark and just pick up a few headbands because they're quite handy for, for at work to keep my hair out my face. So, like I said, I already picked up this one. I've also picked up a um, multi-way... They say it's called a multi-way bando. It's basically just a headscarf with wire in it so that you can tie it like this. Um, I quite like these for at work because they're quite cute. It's like a nice floral design. It's got pink and lilac and blue and grey on it. And green, obviously, for the leaves. Um, they had quite a few different designs of these, but this was my favourite one. I'm sorry if you can hear singing outside. The kids are outside playing in their little tent, even though it's pouring down. They've got their friend over and they're singing at the top of their voices. So I'm sorry if you can hear them. <clears throat> Next I got a two pack of bandos. Um, these are similar to the other one in that they tie in a knot like so. Apart from they're made with elastic. Uh, they've only got the wire in the, in the very top part so you can move the top parts around. This was £2 for these two packs, so it's got a blush kind of coloured one and a grey one. Next I got a pack of clips and these are just like the bent hairdressing clips that you get. I actually am quite a fan of playing around with hair. Okay, so next I got a packet of hairpins. These are 
gold and silver hairpins and they're for thicker hair. And if I just get them out of the package. So they come in a little tub like this, which I thought was really handy because I'm always losing hair grips. Um, and I have really thick hair, so I thought this would be really good, especially for days when I'm wearing my hair in a bun like this. Because they're gold and silver, they'll go in quite well with my blonde hair. So they're just in a packet like this. It's a packet of 30, and these were one pound. So the very last thing that I bought in Primark was a lipstick. This is from the PS Pro range of makeup at Primark, and this is the Super Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one's in the shade number one, yeah, number one Kim. It's just a nude, but I wanted a li long wear um, liquid lipstick version because as much as I like these and as comfortable as normal lipsticks are, they just get everywhere and I don't have time when I'm at work to keep on reapplying my lipstick. These liquid lipsticks are two pounds. And I wore this all day today at work. I did a five hour shift, which is not very long, um, but by the time I got home, bearing in mind I've been eating and drinking as well, this actually lasted really well. So now I'm done with everything that I bought in Primark, I'm going to show you my most exciting part of the haul. Um, I'm going to show you what I bought at the NYX stand in Boots. Basically our boots, our main boots in our shopping mall, hasn't had a NYX stand. And I'm not sure how long NYX has been in the UK for, but I know there's been a lot more stands cropping up all over the UK. And I was actually told that, I was actually told by someone that the NYX stand would be up on the 26th in our boots. And um, so I wasn't expecting to see it this morning when I went in there. So I went in this morning, and lo and behold, there were balloons saying NYX at the front. And then I could see this like crowd of people in the background, and I thought, oh, it's not today, maybe they've just got the balloons up to promote it. And then I went over, and there was the NYX stand, and I was like, oh my god, I've got to go and grab everything, because it was so busy. It was insane, but they had music playing, a working the stall, and they were really polite and really helpful. The stall was actually quite big, it's one of the biggest kind of boutiques that we've got in boots. The Estee Lauder one's pretty big, and the number seven one's pretty big, but the NYX one, for being a kind of, you know, middle range brand, um, it's actually a really big boutique in boots. Yeah, there were loads of people milling around, and I just kind of like, I knew what I wanted already based off of watching videos and kind of surfing the internet and product recommendations from other people. I didn't do much milling around and waiting, you know, to get things because I already knew what I wanted so it was pretty easy. Anyway, without further ado, I will show you what I got in my bag. So the first thing that I picked up in NYX was the HD HD Studio Photogenic um, Finishing Powder. It's just translucent setting powder. I got this to set under my eyes. Um, I've been getting into baking over the past week or so. Um, I did try it before, but it didn't really work for me. And since then, I've tried it, and I've been doing it almost every day for the past week underneath my eyes, and I've definitely noticed a difference. However, that being said, I'm running out of my MAC my MAC Prep and Prime Studio Finish Setting Powder. Um, so I thought I'd give the NYX one a go. So you get six grams in this tub and it was eight pounds, which I thought was quite decent because you get the same amount in the MAC one, I think. You get no grams in this, zero grams. You get 0.62 US ounces. And in this one, you get 0.21 ounces. So you get a whole lot more in the next one than you do in the um, MAC one, even though they're pretty much the same size. So yeah, as soon as I've tried this one, I will tell you what I think of it. Um, but yeah bit of setting powder. The next thing I picked up was one of the ombre blushes. This is in the colour Mauve Me and it's number 04. I was really excited about these blushes and I actually spent, I think, I spent the longest looking at the blushes because I couldn't decide which one of the ombre blushes to get. They have, you know, like some really bright ones and then they have like a really nice pale pink one. But I thought that this one would be the one that I'd wear the most. Um, 
even though a lot of the time I do find myself wearing coral or um, pink blushes, I don't have a mauve blush. Sorry, I'm just trying to open it. <laughs> I don't have a mauve, mauve blush, and um, so I thought I'd give this one a go. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm just, uh, just put it on my thumb. Um, but yeah, this is this is the blush. That's so cute. It's come with a little protector for the mirror. But yeah, isn't that pretty? I can't wait to wear that. Yeah, so it's a really nice kind of neutral pinky colour. Um, you've got the lighter bit here, I don't know if you can see that or not. A bit difficult to tell from here. And then you've got the darker side, and I've kind of tried to like blend them in the middle so that you can get a, a little idea of what the actual colour would look like if, if you swelled your brush in it. I'm really excited to try this, I, I literally can't wait, I'm going to wear it tomorrow. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm hopeless. Alrighty, so I've already got powder and I've got blush. Then I turned around and there was the lipstick right behind me. And you guys, these colours that I've got, I cannot wait to try them. Like, I'm saying this about everything that I've picked up, but I literally, I'm too excited to try these. So I picked up two NYX Lip Lingeries. The colours that I picked up, This one is number 12, Exotic. And then this one is number 3, Lace Detail. I did want to pick up Baby Doll, I think it's called. Um, but actually, I think they might have had a problem with the packaging because when I looked at the Baby Doll ones and actually one of the other colours was like it as well, it looked like the inner tube had actually cracked because there were loads of like crack marks in it and I'm not sure whether it's because the product had dried up in transport or if it had cracked but that made me not want to pick one up. I did tell the girl at the counter just so that she knew. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to try these. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up was the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I picked this up because a lot of people seem to be using this as a primer for their eyes and I wanted to see what the fuss was all about. It's basically just a big eyeliner pencil, like a big fat one. So I can use this on my waterline if I want to, but I've got it to use as a base for my eyeshadows to make them pop. The last things that I picked up, which admittedly they were an impulse buy, but I had been looking at the um, coloured mascaras online quite a lot. So I picked up this one which is the colour Mint Julep and I also picked up number one purple. These are coloured mascaras. Um, I'm quite into wearing different out there colours and I thought these would be really really pretty on the lower lash line if you're wearing like if you were wearing like greeny coloured eyeliner or greeny coloured uh, turquoisey minty coloured eyeshadow underneath your eyes this would be really pretty to like blend your eyelashes into your eye makeup the other thing I thought these would be really useful for was for kind of like editorial photos on my Instagram page so I picked those ones up